Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are going to be doing a full review and try on of the new Natasha Denona Fairy Pop collection. Okay, so this is her Valentine's Day collection for 2024. We do have the Berry Pop Cheek Trio, which is a blush and highlighter palette. And this retails for 48 US dollars. And then we have the Berry Pop Lip Crayon, which retails for $24 in the shade Berry Pop. And the lipstick, which is also in the shade Berry Pop, this one retails for $27. So typically I really, really enjoy her lip products, so I am very excited for these. But let's start with the Cheek Trio because I feel like that's what we're most excited about. So the first time she released a trio in this format, I believe was in her My Dream collection. I didn't pick that one up, so I'm not sure what the formulas are like. I have tried her cheek duos and palettes in the past and they're usually pretty good but this is the outer carton of the cheek trio this has an 18 month shelf life and is made in Italy and then we have the inner packaging which is super beautiful it is this beautiful beautiful cherry red and then it's also in its very mirrored so it's going to get a lot of fingerprints so opening this up, we have two cream blushes and a highlight. This is what it looks like up close. This looks very, very pretty. So I am a little bit nervous for this one because I am very, very fair, and these are obviously some very vibrant shades, but let's swatch them together and then we'll put them on the face. Okay, so the cream blush feels like a cream to powder. It has a powdery element to it. The Tinted Glow Cream Base, which is the one in the very center, is a lot more creamy. It kind of has a bit of an oil-based feeling to it. So this is the Cream Blush. That shade's actually very, very pretty. And then this is the Glow Cream Base. So I'm thinking these might actually work out okay on my skin tone. And finally, the highlighter, which I believe is just a powder. It looks like this. So I think that's very pretty as well. And I'm excited about the highlighter because I feel like it might actually work well for my skin tone. The problem with these types of palettes is that often enough, people that are buying these palettes are not going to be able to use every single one. Okay, so when I was watching Natasha's Instagram, the way she did it was she went in with this one first and then this one over top, which I thought was interesting given that this one is called the Glow Cream Base. So I wasn't really expecting that, but Let's try it that way. I'm going to start on this cheek. I am just taking a Luxie 504. Natasha did say to try a dense brush, but I also don't want to go in too hard because part of what I'm testing is whether this can work on my fair skin. So just going into the cream blush, fairly pigmented. So I think I'm going to tap off a little bit on my hand. Okay, definitely very, very pigmented. I am going to tap off a little bit more just so I can blend that out. Okay, so it's get, it is very, very pigmented. Yeah, I feel like I didn't pick up too much, but ooh, that is vibrant. Okay, let me dip into the Glow Cream Base quickly and see how that changes things. Oh, it does make it really glowy. It adds just like a pretty sheen to it. That's still so vibrant though. I am just going to take my sponge that I use for my foundation and kind of pat over top of this to see if I can get it a little bit more wearable. Okay, I don't want to go over it too much because I want you to see the color still. Okay, so like that, I think it actually looks quite nice. I think it is a little bit more subtle now that I've gone on with my sponge. So I think the trick is, if you're really, really fair, go in with the littlest dip and build from there. My problem was I went in a little too hard, I think. So I'm actually noticing on the back of the box, the how to use has step one with a damp beauty sponge, face brush or fingers, apply cream blush, and to add a radiant dewy shine, apply the tinted glow cream base. So this one is indeed meant to go over top of the cream blush. For the other side, I think I am going to go in with a sponge. This is a different one that I use for my foundation. This is damp. I am just going to dip in softly. So I didn't get too, too much, but 
just trying to be a little bit more careful and ooh. okay I think we're going to prefer the brush that is looking really patchy see I didn't even get too too much on the sponge and I feel like it gave me way too much so I'm going back in with the brush Okay, I didn't like the sponge, I just found it was way too patchy, and I tapped in only one or two times, and it still gave me too much. So, I am liking the brush better, though it is still very vibrant. Okay, I'm going to take my foundation sponge, I'm going to go around those edges. So far, I think this blush would be great for that cold girl makeup trend that was going around last year or even the strawberry girl makeup that I think was popular in the summer. Okay, so going around it with my foundation sponge really, really helped. Okay, going back into the cream base. I find it strange that it's called the base when it's supposed to be the topper. You know what I mean? I just find that strange. It does add a pretty radiance. Okay, so this is what the cream blush and the cream glow base look like layered on top of one another. So I do think the cream blush is incredibly vibrant. Even when I went in a little bit lighter, I still got a ton of pigment. When I went in with the sponge, which would normally absorb a lot of product, it was still too much. So if you're fair like I am, maybe this trio isn't the best purchase, but if you do want it or you're looking for this type of blush shade in your collection, you can totally get away with it. Just, I would definitely keep the foundation, sponge, or brush handy to help blend it and soften it a little bit. Let's go into the highlighter. This is the Dream Glow Powder. The highlighter is pretty. I do think it's a little bit deeper than I would typically go for my highlights, but I do think it's pretty overall. Okay, so that is the blush and highlighter. So, so far, I think the formulas on this are really, really nice. I really do like the formula, but I think if you are my skin tone or you're as fair as I am, maybe not because the cream blush is just so vibrant no matter how late I went in, whether I went in with a brush or a sponge, it was just so much. Whereas I feel like this one might be pretty on its own, but I don't feel like it has the most amount of pigment on its own. And the highlight is pretty, but it's a little bit deep for me. So in all honesty, I do think this could be a pass for fair skin tones. Okay, let's try out the lip products. So going in with the lip pencil, I do absolutely love her lip liners. It is just a really pretty berry red very beautiful very on trend i love the colors that she went with for this one because it does seem very valentine's day-esque okay so let's line the lips okay so that is just the lip liner so i did of course fill in those outer corners and let's go in to the Berry Pop lipstick. I do love her lipstick formula. It's a really nice creamy formula. So this is what the tube looks like. It looks a lot like her Amorosa lipstick. The Amorosa tube is slightly more pink, but otherwise they look very, very similar. So this is what the lipstick looks like. Let's try it on. Ooh, okay. I am loving that berry lipstick shade. I don't think I have another lipstick shade in my collection like this. I have reds, I have burgundies, but I don't think I have a deep vampy berry like this. And I think it's very, very pretty. And of course, I do think it works quite well with that blush. So I really do like that lipstick. I was kind of concerned when I pulled it out and when I was putting on the lip liner, I thought, oh, I'm not gonna like this, but no. I love the lip products. Then this is the final look. Let's talk about these products overall. So the Berry Pop Cheek Trio. I'm gonna be completely honest and say that if you're near my skin tone, I would skip this. I think that this is going to be gorgeous on medium to deep skin tones, maybe even lighter skin tones could get away with it, but if you are as fair as I am, this is just a no. I think it's pretty, but honestly, the blush is just so vibrant. 
unless you don't mind that. If you're okay with super vibrant blush, then maybe this will work for you. I love the formulas though. I love this cream blush that feels like a powder and I do like the glow cream base. It does confuse me because when I hear base, I think it should go on the bottom and you probably can do that. I was just going off of her how to use instructions. So I did that and I did think it looked really nice when I applied the cream base over top. It just looked really, really pretty. The highlighter, again, very pretty, but I still think it's a little bit deeper than I would typically go for my highlights. So because of that, this probably isn't going to be one I reach for a ton. I will reach for it, absolutely, but it's not going to be an absolute favorite because it is a little too vibrant for me. So just keep that in mind if you are on the fair side. Otherwise, the formulas are absolutely beautiful and I do think she did a really nice job with this and it's definitely a very Valentine's Day-esque kind of palette. The lip products are by far my favorite. I love her lip liner formula. I think it is so, so good. It's a very creamy formula. It is just a wooden pencil, but it's a very creamy, easy to work with formula and it is quite long wearing. So I do love that I have the matching liner for the lipstick. The lipstick really surprised me. When I was putting on the lip liner, I was thinking, okay, so this is going to be one that's just kind of like a deeper red. But when I put on the lipstick, that is when I realized that this is a beautiful, beautiful berry red, as it's supposed to be, but it's such a unique shade, especially to my collection. I don't have anything like this shade anywhere. And I have a ton of lipstick, but I do not have anything comparable to this shade. So that right there tells me that this shade was definitely worth picking up for me. And I really, really like how it looks. To me, this is great for Valentine's Day. I can also see myself going for this a lot in the fall. I can also see this being a really nice holiday red for me when I don't want to go hard into a beautiful vibrant blue red. I'm looking for something a little bit more understated but some still bold. I think this is a great option. So the lipstick is by far my favorite part of this collection. Absolutely love it. think it's stunning and the formula never disappoints me. The lip liner I love and the cheat trio I also really really like. It's just that I don't know that it's worth it if you are as fair as I am. Again, this was really vibrant. I got clown cheeks really really quickly. I was going in pretty light as well um, with the brush with the sponge and I was still getting clown cheeks so I really had to make sure I had that foundation sponge close by to fix things when I needed it but the formulas though are wonderful. But that is it. Let me know down below if you are picking up this collection. Are you still thinking about it? What are your thoughts? Was anybody else surprised that there was no eyeshadow? Let me know. I just love hearing from you guys so, so much. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload at least three new videos every single week. Thank you again so very much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.